For someone um, without insurance, do you know the out-of-pocket cost of a complete blood count test? No, ma'am, not, not immediately. Do you have a ballpark? Uh, I do not, ma'am. Okay, the CBC, a CBC typically costs about $36. What about the out-of-pocket cost for a complete metabolic panel? Ma'am, I'd have to pass on that as well. You have any idea you want to take a ballpark? I would say $75. Okay, 58. Getting closer. How about flu A? Ma'am, again, I would take a guess at about maybe 50. 43? This is like the prices, right? Flu B? I would, I would probably say 44. That's good. How about the cost of an ER visit for someone identified as high severity and threat? I'm sorry, ma'am. What was the question again? How about the cost of an ER visit for somebody identified as having high severity or high threat? I said, ma'am, that's probably about three to five thousand dollars. Okay, that is one thousand one hundred and fifty-one dollars. It this all totals up to one thousand three hundred and thirty-one dollars. That's assuming they aren't kept in isolation. Isolation can add up for one family already four thousand dollars. And fear of these costs are going to keep people from being tested, from getting the care they need, and from keeping their communities safe. We live in a world where 40 percent of Americans cannot even afford a four hundred dollar unexpected expense. We live in a world where 33 percent of Americans put off medical treatment last year. And we have a one thousand three hundred and thirty one dollar expense conservatively just for testing for the coronavirus. Dr. Redfield, do you want to know who has the coronavirus and who doesn't? Yes. Not just rich people, but everybody who might have the virus? All of America. Dr. Redfield, are you familiar with 42 CFR 71.3130? Excuse me. I literally communicated to your office last night and received confirmation that I was going to be asking you about 42.7. 42 CFR 71.30. This provides the director may authorize payment for the care and treatment of individuals subject to medical exam, quarantine, isolation, and conditional release. That I know about, and my office did tell me that. I just didn't know the numbers, ma'am. That's Congresswoman. Great. So you're familiar. Dr. Redfield, will you commit to the CDC right now using that existing authority to pay for diagnostic testing free to every American regardless of insurance? Well, I can say that we're going to do everything to make sure everybody can nope, get the not care good they enough. need. We're claiming my time. Dr. Redfield, you have the existing authority. Will you commit right now to using the authority that you have vested in you under law that provides in a public health emergency for testing, treatment, exam, isolation, without cost, yes or no? What I'm going to say is I'm going to review it in detail with no, CDC I'm and the department. No, I'm reclaiming my time. Dr. Redfield, respectfully, I wrote you this letter along with my colleagues, Rosa DeLora and Lauren Underwood, Congressman Underwood and Congressman DeLora. We wrote you this letter one week ago. We quoted that existing authority to you and we laid out this problem. We asked for a response yesterday. The deadline and the time for delay has passed. Will you commit to invoking your existing authority under 42 CFR 71.30 to provide for coronavirus testing for every American regardless of insurance coverage? What I was trying to say is that CDC is working with HHS now to see how we operationalize that. Dr. Redfield, I hope that that answer weighs heavily on you because it is going to weigh very heavily on me and on every American family. Well, our intent is to make sure every American gets the care and treatment they need at this time of this major epidemic, and I'm currently working with HHS to see how to best operationalize it. Dr. Redfield, you don't need to do any work to operationalize. You need to make a commitment to the American people so they come in to get tested you can operationalize the payment structure I, I tomorrow. Think, I think you're an excellent questioner, so my answer is yes. Excellent. Everybody in America hear that. You are eligible to go get tested for coronavirus and have that covered regardless of insurance. Please, if you believe you have the illness, follow precautions. Call first. Do everything the CDC and Dr. Fauci, God bless you, for guiding Americans in this time. 
But do not let a lack of insurance worsen this crisis.